Yeah, great move. I've known Gio for a long time and uh, obviously, you know, heck of a hockey player, great person, really good competitor. A guy that's been a captain, he's going to help our team a lot. In what ways do you think he'll help the most? Well, just everywhere, I think. I think he's just a guy that uh, he can play all facets of the game. He's, you know, been in the trenches and uh, he's great defensively. <clears throat> he's run power plays before. He's going to help us in a lot of different ways. Jason, have you guys crossed paths much in the summer? Um, yeah, occasionally just around around town, but we don't uh, like we don't work out together or anything. Or but we've known each other for a long time. What's it feel like to the group when Kyle makes a move like this? Well, I think we're we've put ourselves in a position where uh, we're in a good spot, and uh, you know to have the GM recognize that and to add to the team, you know, definitely helps as players. Uh, gets you excited for the push here, but we were excited anyways. We feel like we have a really good club, and uh, I think the, the him making moves kind of echoes that. As, as a hockey guy, how would you compare to all the action that's happening in your division in particular? It seems everyone's loading up. Well, I think if. You know, it's a unique year in the sense where there's a little bit of separation uh, in our, in the Eastern Conference, so that's probably why you're seeing what you're seeing. And uh, there's still lots of hockey to be played to get into the playoffs, but obviously there's there's a little more separation than normal. Blackwell doesn't have the same track record, of course, as Giordano, but you guys saw Seattle a couple times recently. What do you make of Colin? Yeah, he's good. Uh, skates real fast, the buzzsaw, it's kind of hard on pucks, can play up and down the lineup, good versatile player, uh, somebody that I think is, is going to fit in real well with our group. Thought off Travis Dermott getting a, a fresh start over there in Vancouver. Yeah, I think uh, everybody you know, like Dermott around here, we hope he does well. I think it's uh, for a, a defenseman, you know, he's probably looking to find his way and, and get some confidence and get a, you know some consistency and uh, we're excited for him to go there and to a team that you know, maybe he can build with that group and uh, just a great kid that, you know, we enjoyed having around here, but it's the nature of the business. But uh, I think everybody wishes Jeremy all the best and he, he's been here for a while and he's been a part of the team and, you know, he's really close to a lot of guys. Jason, even though the, um, you know, no, no one expected or expected a lot of names to move out or anything, once the trade deadline passes, you guys can tomorrow that. Can you kind of sit back a bit and, and regroup mentally, do you think, now that it's coming on? Yeah, I think so. I think it does signal the, the start of the stretch run, the, the best part of the year. I think we, you know, you play all these games to get to this point for this next stretch and leading into playoffs. So uh, there will be <clears throat> definitely an excitement amongst the group uh, once you kind of get into the, the, the stretch run of games and, and through the deadline. So I think that's natural in any dressing room and in any walk of life. It has been, you know, since I've been in the league. You have uh, having so many ex captains around. Is that a good thing in terms of seeing on the ice in a stressful situation? For sure, I think. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and less so that, and just experience, and experience in the moment, uh, experience in the room. I think, and just competitiveness. You know, we've added two very competitive guys, and when you get down to playoff time, you know, it becomes a lot of competitiveness and net front stuff, and uh, just strong wills. And, and I think just to add depth like we have just definitely helps us a lot. Do you have one of your moments, either with or against you, that stand out for you? Um, I think one, one, one moment that I just like really remember was kind of a different situation was uh, he came over to the World Championships. He was playing in Russia. It was after he had the contract dispute with the Flames. And uh, he was supposed to be there for like one or two exhibition games as kind of the European fill-in uh, coming in before we brought guys over. And I remember we had like, I forget some of the D, I think we had like Duncan Keith. We, and Gio was arguably one of the best, if not the best defensemen uh, you know, on that team and really, you know, he earned a spot and stayed there. I think that was an early sign of just how good he was. And then to see how he's gotten better and better with age, uh, you know, has been really impressive. And then to see him win a Norris was something, uh, you know, just shows his hockey IQ and just competitiveness and, and how strong he is around the front of the net. And also, you know, he makes really good underrated offensive plays. So, uh, but that moment with the Team Canada to come to a team like that and not really be expected and to, you know, for him to earn his way in, I remember was uh, something that I remembered. Was it the Halifax one? Yeah. Nope. It was, uh, I think it was Slovakia or, or maybe Switzerland. Switzerland was before Slovakia. So Switzerland. Yeah. Kyle, you described the intensity of that last drill, especially the Battle of Scarborough there between Bunting and yeah, those drills are great. Uh, you know, we, with the way the schedule is now, and we don't get a chance to have practices like this very often, but they're really useful and they're uh, they're great battle drills. It replicates game stuff, and as players, we we like it. And competitiveness among teammates is always great. So uh, I think it's you know they're 
it's harder and harder with the way the schedule has been with COVID stops and lack of breaks and to have battle practices like this because the reality is you're saving yourself for games a lot of nights, but uh, these practices are very valuable. I know you ended up being okay, but was there your concern there? Was Kevin, Kevin uh, that you got tangled up? Yeah, with? it was really awkward and got a little bit of a stinger, but the old body treats me good, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs>